molecules into their individual um, components. So we're going to start with carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is CO2. Um, so first off, we need to look at the molecular formula here, CO2. And every time you see a new capital letter, that's a new atom in that compound. Okay, so I see one, two capital letters, so that means I have two different types of atoms in a molecule of CO2. So each capital letter is a new symbol. So in my symbol column, I'm going to write down a C. Sorry, it's a weird looking C. And an O, because those are the two symbols that I have. Okay? Now, for the element name, I'm going to use the periodic table. Okay, so I'll kind of show you here. Pull up my periodic table. Okay, so here's my periodic table of elements. You have one in the back of your planner on page 119 that you can use. Um, for those of you who are not my regular students and watching this, you can just look up any periodic table on the internet. Google periodic table, click on images, and you've got a ton. Okay, so I'm going to look for C, and then when I find it, okay, there's the symbol. What's under the symbol is the element name. Okay, so it's kind of out of focus here, but that C stands for carbon. So the element name, okay, which I'm going to write here for C, is carbon. And then I'm going to do the same thing and find the O. And if you find it, you'll see that it stands for oxygen. Okay? So now we look at how many. And the way to do that is we go back up to our molecular formula here. And we look to see if there's numbers beside our letters. If there's no number, then you only have one. If I look at my model, I have one carbon. If there's a number, then that's how many of that particular element we have. So we have a two here, so that means I have two oxygens. So no number means one, and then the number tells me how many of that I have. Okay, so we're gonna practice breaking down more compounds here into the individual um, atoms that make them up. We walk through uh, breaking down carbon dioxide, so now uh, we'll do two or three more just for practice. So I'm just going to leave this here. You can pause the video here, break it down into the symbol element and um, how many of each atom you have. Uh, we're looking at phosphoric acid, which is H3PO4. You can find this acid in your soda drinks. Um, and here's the model. You have phosphorus your oxygens, and then your hydrogens. Okay, so go ahead and break this down into its, uh, into the different symbols. Then tell me what they are. You can use your periodic table in your planner or um, go back to the matter part two notes and borrow that one. And then um, how many of each element you have. Okay? So go ahead and pause the video, break that down, and then come back and check how you did. Alright, so how did you do? The symbols, you should have H, P, and O. Okay? I'm going to pull back a little bit. The H stands for hydrogen. The P stands for phosphorus. 
and the O stands for oxygen. So how many hydrogens do we have? If you look, here's our number three right after the H. So that tells me that I have three hydrogens. Behind the P, there is no number, so that tells me that I only have one phosphorus. Then behind the O, there's a four, so that tells me I have four oxygens. So breaking down phosphoric acid into its individual atoms should give you this. One, or three hydrogens, one phosphorus, and four oxygens, which matches our model there. Okay, so let's do uh, one or two more, and uh, you should be, we'll do, we'll walk through one or two more, and then I'll toss up just two that you can do on your own, and show me when you're done, bring into class, all right? Okay. Okay, so one more walk through. We'll probably do this one and one other, just kind of walk through. This is uh, NaCl, which is sodium chloride, or better known as salt, the table salt you sprinkle on fries or any other food. Um, so we'll break this one down. Now remember, every time you see a new capital letter, you have a new element. There's a lowercase letter next to it, it goes together. So this whole thing here, the whole Na, underline this for you. This whole thing is one symbol. Okay, same with the CL. Okay, that's all one symbol as well. Okay, so the NA is one, the CL is one. Alright, so since I already gave you that, I'll just go ahead and pull this up. So those are our two symbols. So we have two elements here that make up salt. Now, I'll let you figure out the rest, okay? So pause the video, look up the, the element names for Na and Cl, and then tell me how many of each we have in a molecule of salt, okay? So did you figure it out? Okay, Na stands for sodium. CL stands for chlorine, and we don't have any numbers next to either of them, so that tells me I only have one. So I have one sodium and one chlorine, and that matches up with our model of sodium chloride. Okay? Okay, so now it's time for you to practice this on your own. We've walked through how to break down carbon dioxide, phosphoric acid, and sodium chloride. So if you get stuck, you can refer back to those. Just, you know, rewind the video and go back through those. So these are three for you to practice with. You have methane gas, which is CH4, hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, and sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. Okay, for each one of those, I want you to tell me, break them down into the symbols, element names, and how many of each atom you have. Okay, just like we've been doing in class, and just like the other three that we've gone through. Okay, um, if you want to double check your answers, bring them in and we'll see how you did. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to write them all down. I'm not gonna go over these in the video. These are for you to practice with. Um, and then, you know, just bring them in and check or email me what you wrote down and uh, I will respond, okay? So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful and informative, and stay tuned for more. Hi, right, thanks.